Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 times x plus 2 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 is equal to 120. We need to find all possible values of x. So let's start. Since uh, this 1 plus uh, this 4, 1 plus uh, 4 is equal to 5 and uh, this uh, 2 plus uh, this 3 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. So, we write this x plus 1 with this x plus 4 and we write this x plus 2 with this x plus 3 like this x plus 1 times x plus 4 and x plus 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 120. Now, we multiply these two terms x times this x x squared and x times plus 4 plus 4 times x and 1 times this x plus x 1 times this plus 4 plus 4. And now, we multiply this x plus 2 by this x plus 3 x times this x, x squared, and x times plus 3 plus 3 times x, plus 2 times x, plus 2x, and plus 2 times plus 3 plus 6 is equal to 120. Next, x squared, plus 4x plus 1x becomes plus 5 times x, plus 4 times this x squared x squared and this plus 3x plus 2x becomes plus 5 times x plus this 6 is equal to 120. Now, here we have x squared plus 5x and here we have x squared plus 5x. So, we suppose that let m is equal to x squared plus 5 times x and we substitute m in this equation then this equation will become m plus 4 times m plus 6 is equal to 120. Next m times this m m squared and m times this plus 6 plus 6 m and this 4 times m plus 4 m and plus 4 times plus 6 plus 24 is equal to 120. Next, m squared 6 m plus 4 m becomes plus 10 m plus this 24 we move this uh, 120 to the left side, it becomes negative 120 is equal to 0. Next, m squared plus 10 times m and uh, negative 120 plus uh, 24 becomes negative 96 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this m squared, m squared and we split this uh, plus 10 m as, we split this plus 10 m as plus 16 times m minus 6 times m minus this 96, 96 is equal to 0. And from these two terms, uh, we can factor out m, m as a common factor and in bracket left uh, m plus 16 and from these two terms uh, we can factor out negative 6 in bracket left m plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, as you can see this expression m plus 16 this expression m plus 16 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, m plus 16 and uh, in bracket left uh, in bracket left uh, this m and this negative 6 in bracket left m minus 6 is equal to 0 
and from here either this expression m minus 6 is equal to 0 or this expression m plus 16 is equal to 0. Now, from this equation m is equal to 6 and from this equation m is equal to negative 16, but we need to find the values of x. So, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that uh, m is equal to x squared plus uh, 5 times x. We have supposed that uh, x squared plus uh, 5 times x is equal to m. First, uh, in this equation, we put this value of m 6. Then, this equation will become x squared plus uh, 5 times x is equal to 6. We move this 6 to the left side, then this equation will become x squared plus 5 times x minus 6 is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this x squared, x squared and we split this plus 5 times x as, we split this 5x as negative x plus times x minus this 6 is equal to 0. From these two terms, we can factor out x in bracket left x minus 1. And from these two terms, we can factor out plus 6 in bracket left x minus 1 is equal to 0. And from here, you can see that x minus 1, x minus 1 is a common factor. So, we factor this out x minus 1 as a common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this x and this plus 6, in bracket left x plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x plus 6 is equal to 0. And from this equation, we get the first value of x 1. And from this equation, we get the second value of x negative 6. So, for now, we got two values of x 1 and negative 6. Now, to find other solutions of this equation, in this equation, we put this value of m negative 16 then this equation will become x squared plus 5 times x is equal to value of m is now negative 16. Now, we move this negative 16 to the left side, then this equation will become x squared plus 5 times x. This negative 16 becomes plus 16 at left side is equal to 0. Now, this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. In this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 5 and c is equal to 16. And according to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative value of b 5 plus or minus square root of, in place of b squared, we write 5 squared minus 4 times value of a 1 times value of c 16 divided by 2 times value of a 1. Next, x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of this 5 squared is 25 minus 4 times 1 times 16, 64 divided by 2 times 1, 2. Next, x is equal to negative 5 plus or minus square root of 25 minus 64, negative 39 divided by 2. So, from here we get other two solutions of x x 3 is equal to negative 5 plus square root of 
39 times i divided by 2 and x4 is equal to negative 5 minus square root of 39 times i divided by 2. So, these are the four solutions of this equation.